Are you serious? Because that's not weird or anything. It's awkward. Oh, look how they have their hair. Is it like mine? Yeah. We knew the twins got a job at Boogaloo, but I'd never thought they'd be working the same night as us. This is our territory, and they need to move. She's pregnant. Who the f where is she, girl? Like, who will come to the pale pregnant? Looking like a home. Yeah, I need to I don't think you're more waitresses. They're like, do all the bitch work while the cheeks sit up at the top and watch. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't work like that. Waitress, a drink, please. What? Um, one of the margaritas. All right. We've known the twins for a while now. They've never been on our level and never will be. If y'all want to wait on tables, go ahead. The cheeks, we don't do that. Y'all like being waitresses? Yeah. yeah. Are you like bus girls or waitresses? Like waitress and like dancers. We don't waitress. That's why we were just asking. We didn't know they had you guys doing like dirty work. I don't see what's wrong getting dirty. You know well, what? We gonna work, work for your money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> serve. Yeah, but nothing wrong with that. I don't know what the cheek problem is, but they're over here asking us all these questions like they're the FBI. And why should it even matter? We're all getting paid. But that's why we were on the bar sitting up there on I that level. You guys were down this level I busting and serving the people. Okay. But you're entertainers. You're entertainers too. Same we don't No, serve. I don't waitress, I don't serve people. Okay, but what's wrong with serving people? No, but you're that's not an entertainer. Why are you that's not entertainer. Are you too good for people? I don't see what's wrong with it. Yes, I'm ghetto, right? Yeah, I never thought that this day would come. Like, I will get on a horse, then mm -hmm. I fed a horse. You got a kid. I got a kid from a horse. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you really fell in love with that horse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Drea, I was talking to you the other day. That new spot you was telling me about? Oh, you were there? Yeah, we got hired. Oh, congratulations, girl. Yeah, we heard about that. That promoter called us. Let us know everything that went down. All the talking. Well, just like you might be talking behind our back. No, but we don't go to clubs getting a job and talk about somebody else. But we weren't even talking about y'all. She had asked us a question, that's when we answered she back. Mad. She told us y'all just straight up went in there and started blabbering. No, no. we didn't go straight up there blabbering. So she the asked, promoter of the club going to lie? She said the chicks were candy. We're like, oh, we know them. That's all we said. Why would y'all go to a club that we work at? Uh, we didn't even know you, you worked there until. How'd you find it? Meaning told us. Me What the hell is Minnie doing bringing the twins somewhere that we work at out of all the places in Atlanta? We need to talk to Minnie, but first we need to deal with these little munchkins. Atlanta is a big ass city. Like of all the clubs in the city, why the club that we go to consistently? The the hell? Hell? You don't own, you don't own that club. does not say left cheek, right, right cheek, cheek owns. Hell no. We don't own there, we work here. Why can't y'all share? What's wrong with that? Why the you so worried about us for? Why you like, why you always think about us? Like, Worry about your himself. Why are you gonna be mad? Because we're gonna take all the attention? Because that's what, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all your shine, so. Why are y'all so mad? They have no right to question us. Because we don't have a question about their business, but they're sure all up in our business. I think it's just jealousy. Why should Emily even care if we get the job when she's pregnant? If she is pregnant, wouldn't she stop working at the clubs? She must be lying. We're gonna find out. So. We don't believe you that you're pregnant. Can you pee on the stick? Um, 
You keep that in your purse? Who does that? Can you just prove to us that you're pregnant? You can come watch. Make sure I didn't buy the pee. Now I go watch. Is that an outhouse? Let's go. I tried to be nice. I tried to get along, invite everyone to have a good time. Just to find out the twins are still running their mouths, bashing my name. Now the twins are trying to say that I'm not pregnant. Uh, hold the stick while I pee on it. Just shut your mouth when I prove you wrong. This is a very interesting picnic. Okay. Oh, here they come, y'all. <laughs> Careful. Oh, goodness. Boom, bitch. <laughs> She's pregnant. Whoa. There's a bun bacon in her oven. Okay, fine, she really is pregnant. Well, I was really wrong about giving her pregnancy test. Well, you're not really wrong for that, that. Don't you ever say you're sorry. <laughs> that is not an excuse for her nasty behavior. So since you're pregnant, why the f would you ride a horse? The OB cleared it. The doctor. And if my doctor cleared it, then I'm fine. I wasn't lying about being pregnant, and I'm allowed to go riding. So do you have any more questions? Y'all make some noise right now for left cheek, right cheek. They want to go on tour, you know. We want to see how they ride the crowd. Ladies, y'all good? Left cheek, right cheek. Oh my God, I'm nervous as Everyone from Street Exec is here. This performance is going to make us or break us. Y'all ready? I'm really glad that the twins came tonight. Even though they didn't get a chance to meet Street Exec, I bet you they kicking their own self in the ass now. Are these bitches for real? They're rapping that diss song about us, and they said that they never started any drama. What a bunch of bull Even though the cheeks wasn't perfect, ooh, I'm so glad that GC said they were good enough. So that means we still got a chance to be the opening act for the tour. Why you messes? Tell me why you messes. Hey. Y'all give it up one more time for the left cheek, right cheek. So what y'all think? It was good, but why she had to look at us when you say why you messes? When you wonder why we don't want to work with her. She was looking at y'all. Yeah, she was looking at us. So who the f is last? Just because you're on stage, gonna look at the twins. Come up. Bitch, I, we will drag your ass off the stage. This is so messed up. Juicy is doing my girls wrong by inviting them to a show where the performance is dissing them. What kind of manager does that? This is the prime example why the twins don't need her. Who's mad? I'm still confused on who's mad. Because I'm happy that, I'm happy that is over. <laughs> I'm glad the performance is over. I thought it was a pretty good performance. Oh, I know you did. Of course you did. Abira is too petty to recognize talent. It's taking a lot of me not to go off on her right now, but this is a professional setting, and I'm not about to let this little instigator get the best of me. Well, what do we do next? I'll tell you what we do next. Get in the studio, make your music. All right. Put me on the track, of course, because I got bars for days. <laughs> and, um, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you definitely get in the studio, girls. First, Juicy didn't introduce us to the street execs, and then we get invited to the show and then get this. We are not working with you anymore, Juicy. I guess we have to make our own music and bring it to them ourselves. And then we won't be mad no more, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Why are you glad, sis? Why are you glad? Feelings, We're glad because you're off the <laughs> Look at the <laughs> out of here. I disagree with Emily. We see it as little people, but other people, they won't see it as LP little person or little people. That, that's a great thing. It could make us stronger and like we could go even further as a group too. I honestly don't see Emily's side with this. I don't need her to ruin this for everyone, including me and her. I didn't move my family to Atlanta just so I can sit on my ass. You can only be stronger with a, with a whole team, you know what I mean?
everybody thinks it's a good idea. I mean, I don't know everything. Well, that's for damn sure. I think we're down, but like, it's just our biggest thing we have to overcome is working together as a whole. What's the fear? It's like you're investing, we're investing stuff, like all of our stuff, like we invest our own money into it. So to put a project together, we're investing projects that we've invested money into, into putting trust with other people. That's asking a lot. Can you believe this? She thinks she's too good for us. She brags about her status so much, but she doesn't realize she's a nobody. You think you're gonna lose fans by putting out a No, company? I'm saying we're doing a compilation album puts a lot of trust in people that we normally would not trust. When me and Juicy was meeting with Al, his biggest thing is this is new. Just like when you purchase a car, you don't just be like, oh, let me, let me, here go the money. I want that car. You're gonna test drive that car. That's what he's doing. This is like a test drive. I don't feel like everybody even like as artists are on the same levels. So you don't have to be on the same level to be on the same mixtape. I mean, you don't have to, that's true. But why would somebody want to? We do compilation projects with everybody, with artists with 4 million followers. And there may be an artist with 100,000, 25,000 followers on the same project. Emily can't see the vision that we're all seeing because she's too busy looking down at us. You would think with a head that big that she would have room for a brain. But we can't make any assumptions. Y'all got more, what it is, experience you say? So with that being said, why would you not help the people who just started? Let's face it, out of everybody here, Abira has the most to gain and we have the least. She's basically a nobody that has nothing to show for her career. So of course she wants this project to take off. This just seems like a waste of our time. Come on, like get it together. It's not working. How old are you? You've been doing it for how long? And it hasn't worked yet. They still laughing yeah, at you. Still they still bill. see your joke. Yeah, okay, so if all you worry about paying your bills, then what's the problem with the collab? Because you're going to get paid. At the end of the day, I can voice my opinion. That's my opinion. Listen, at the end of the day, guess what? So many artists have broke with no videos. One song. It's about what the people like. It's exactly. about what they want to hear. Not everybody so you can have a million into videos it. with a million views, and we can have no videos and but still get chosen. But if y'all don't promote it, it's... I mean, she and I don't need them to put out a single. That's bull. If you're business minded the way you say you are, you will look at it as an opportunity because, exactly. yeah, you got songs, but you still haven't had that breakthrough. All right, let's just talk about a hypothetical situation. You keep being caught. All right, so, so look. That's how you are. That's, that's my personality. That's so look. Down with that. I don't know what the exact beef is or the tension is, and I honestly don't care. I know GC is not here to waste his time. I'm not def definitely not here to waste my time. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to be on the same page before we move any further. Once again, Emily's attitude comes out in the wrong meeting. She better not have scared off GC and Issa for good. What have I said? Yeah, I ain't like you don't know what you said. We all know what you said. That's what you do. You talk and then you want to play the victim. I ain't said nothing negative. You're being so cocky, girl. Yeah. You my money once. Okay, I haven't mentioned a followers so, once. So I, look. Like, all oh, clowns. I know these people. I know this. I know that. Well, we have a lot of college in you. Well, we're better than you. We're twins. Or you don't see us throwing that like right now at her face. Do y'all have more followers than us? Yeah, but before we had followers, you always say that you have more followers. Should put that. So when did I say that? Excuse me, ladies. This is probably our exit. Y'all all right. Y'all cool, right. have a good day. I can't believe it. The one thing that I didn't want to happen was this. If this album doesn't happen, what's next for us? Emily better not screw up Street is this for all of us or I'm taking my management hat off and putting on fighting gloves. Me and my Carolina partner said, and we don't think any of y'all are quite ready for the tour yet. So we think it's a pretty good idea for y'all to put out a project together. A compilation album called the LP. So I don't feel like everybody even like as artists are on the same levels. You don't have to be on the same level to be on the same mixtape. I mean, you don't have to, that's true. But why would somebody want to? But do y'all have more followers than us? Yeah, before we had followers, you always say that you have more followers. Shut the f up with that. <laughs> when did I say that? I'm meeting with Street is X is unraveling. Come on now, we can't be behaving like this. Oh, excuse me, ladies. This is probably our exit. <laughs> y'all be all right. cool, all right? Y'all have a good day. That went well.
that was a disaster. Now we all look unprofessional. We got an East Coast, West Coast thing going on. And no one is legit to be popping off in front of street as that. We need to get this right. We all want to make music. We all want to be heard, you know, but we also don't want to feel like intimidated or torn down by someone who's the same as us. Juicy, you know already how hungry I am for this. And I know everyone else here at this table is hungry too. You don't want to be around someone that brings a different character out of you. The problem is you family and we all know it. I don't have a problem with you, Bree. I just can't do the mouth. That's you it. That's my only issue. You get that ass beat. I'm just letting you know. Because I'm vicious as far as on my music, but I'm not trying to be vicious on you, babe, because that ain't going to give me no check. OK, I don't have time for this. This is both. I'm just being honest about what we've done and what we've accomplished. And these bitches just keep coming for me. I'll give you guys a call later. All right. I see the tension between y'all, but I'm here to make music. So if we going to make this pop, then we all got to make it happen together. Like, everybody's on the same page. Yeah, it's just her, her, her attitude. And we don't want to lose the opportunity with GC and Issa and them. We don't want to lose that because of her. Well, I know my sister and I cannot work with someone that's going to say, well, we have a lot of followers in you. Well, we're better than you. We, we have a lot of videos. We have million views. I know Emily can be aggressive at times. It's not always a bad thing, because if you don't, people will walk all over you. Juicy is making excuses for her clients. And now the chances of us doing a compilation album with Street is X is up in the air. The success of this album can be the deciding factor on who goes on this tour. But that's not gonna happen if Emily messes up for everyone. All personal issues, we need to put it to the side and secure this bag. This LP album, you don't know where it's gonna go. But Juicy, you talk to your artist. Cause that right there, 